Uh, sure, is, uh, that's a very good question. I, I believe uh, you you mean what's the most competitive uh, industry in Bahrain, correct? I would tell you automotive is definitely one out of them. And then we, of course, have the, the hotel industry, which, which sticks in. But it's normally about automotive, usually. And uh, automotive, because we have almost every brand of beer. And uh, let's say every class of brands, let's say Toyota, Nissan, and Honda, the pricing is almost the same for almost all the models. And uh, it's all about how well can you show up to the users because um, because I personally think uh, I mean at least in my case and I guess most of you would agree as well if you were to buy a brand new car what's the first thing that you do did you read the reviews online I believe uh, all of us do that exactly we all we all research a bit about it before we even walk into the showroom uh, at least I would tell you uh, 85 to 90 percent of the people who actually are planning to pick up a new car, the first thing they do is do a bit of a research and uh, you read all the road reviews and whatever other blogs talk about the particular car and so on. So I think automotive industry is definitely one of the most competitive ones here in Bahrain. And then yeah, of course, you do have the smaller ones like you have agencies as well who are uh, digital agencies uh, trying to promote website development and things like that. But if you were to ask me what's the most uh, competitive one, I would tell you in one word, I would tell you it's automotive. And um, in terms of SEO strategy, SEO, I, I, I'll be very honest with you. Here in Bahrain, SEO is something uh, which there are a lot of agencies and freelancers who offer that. But I would tell you, uh, most of these guys just stick with the on-page uh, optimization, which is very basic SEO, and then they, they think that's the complete SEO uh, real, which which isn't right. SEO, ideally, I mean, even though I've I've been doing SEO for 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 the, for the last few years, I'll tell you, till date, I, I would not be able to say by myself that I am the expert and I know it all, because SEO is so vast. And I think it keeps getting changed, you know, with every time there's a new algorithm being launched by any of the search engines, your entire calculation changes. A, a couple of years ago, I remember uh, your meta keywords made a lot of difference. And back then, it was search engine optimization was really easy because all you had to do is put in your meta keywords for each of the pages, and, uh, and the search engine used to pull out results. But right now, if you're aware of it, uh, meta keywords are no more considered. So you can put them there. I mean, it definitely adds in, but it isn't really counted for your search engine rankings. So if, if a page ranks higher, there are a couple of things over here. Let me even show you something for schools in Bahrain. Because I do have a couple of schools uh, who are my clients. And uh, we're talking about all the schools in the same class. So if you look at this, we have the first one that comes over here from the school side of things as the British School of Bahrain. And some of the reasons, I mean, I wouldn't say the website is one of the best in terms of load time or mobile compatibility. So for them, it would be more about uh, the links that are coming in and how, what genuine links or link building which is coming in from, uh, let's say, from other blogs or newspapers that are talking about the website. And then we have multinational school. A multinational school, Bahrain, is again another client of mine. And then we have Nassim International School. And if you, if you see this, they even have spelled international wrong. Not quite sure how it comes in here, but we do have a couple of factors, which, which is your title and how clear and relevant and with the keywords that you really want to show up for. And then you have the description. The description, again, you see it, there are quite a lot of black hat methods, but none of them would be recommended because the moment uh, search engines recognize your website, I mean, your SEO as, as a malpractice, that's it. You're going down, maybe the second or the third page. And and the second page of search engines are like, are like quiet. I mean, how many of us actually go into a second page? I mean, I don't. I really think you could, uh, you could bury a dead person in the second page and no one's ever going to find out. No, I personally think so. Because it's always the first page at the max if you go to the end of it, which, which again, people hesitate to do so. It's normally the, the top part of it, which is which is the most prominent one. But in the, in this case, I really think that you know 
over here we have, of course, Wikipedia is going to come in at the first, and then we have Expat Women, which is one of the blogs over here, which which have a some separate column talking about all the uh, all the schools here in Bahrain and a little review about them and so on. And then British uh, Bahrain Schools Network is an, again another blog, which is a combination of all the schools' data there. And apart from that, the first school of year would be British School of Bahrain, and then you have Multinational School of Bahrain. So I think. It's a lot of factors, which some of them crucial things would be, which need technical assistance, would be your page load time, which is affected by, of course, your hosting server, how heavy are your files, uh, uh, is your load time good, and so on. So that would be one of those things. And apart from that, you would have mobile compatibility. Like I told you, in Bahrain, we have a massive chunk of the internet users who use it from mobile. So uh, your, mobile, your website really needs to cater to, uh, cater to mobile devices, and that is quite crucial today. And so that would affect your ranking as well. The rest of the things would be the number of links that are coming in from legit sources, which I mean like um, could be Reddit or so on. And uh, I have another question from Shreyans here. How is the fourth link with the address different from the first one? Uh, fourth link with the address as in uh, you mean this? Okay, over here, uh, it, first of all, the, the, link, the link here is, is quite complicated, and I definitely normally don't recommend uh, links like this. I mean, you could possibly have uh, a shorter link, uh, fourth from top. So you mean this, the British School of Bahrain. How is this different from from the first one? Okay, so the British School of Bahrain, I'll tell you there's something called uh, your page reliability. So Wikipedia, of course, has a page reliability which is way higher because of your page, um, your page authenticity is based on how long have you been on the internet. One of the things that's, but that's, that's quite minor, but that definitely, and um, Based on the links that are coming into your website, whether links are coming in from from uh, websites that are quite reliable, because if you have links coming into your website from blogs that have uh, a lower page rank, that gives you a minus point. But Wikipedia, in that case, uh, has uh, and some one of the other sources that 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 could be the reason would be the traffic, because Wikipedia definitely we're talking about a traffic which is in millions. Whereas for the British School of Bahrain, on average, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing more than 20,000 people on an average month. So that would be another source as well. So Wikipedia basically shows up right in the top, reason being of page authenticity, page rank, and so on. And British School of Bahrain definitely isn't up there. So I think that, that pretty much answers to your question, Shreyas. Uh, if you see this, these are the Google Plus local listings. Uh, so ideally, we have all the schools up here. But again, the British School of Bahrain, it is, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure it shows up over here right in the first because you might have better, better ratings. And yeah, you can actually see that. It's a 4.5 uh, rating out of 5. And, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. So it's coming through the Google Places listing. I mean, that's exactly what we spoke about earlier. How, how does it matter, especially for something you know where, where you have a lot of other competitors in the same industry? So it all comes up here. So um, that, I think that explains uh, why the listing is appearing over here as well. Am I correct, Shreyas? So this, again, yeah, this is a, is a really good practice if you have a front for your business. Like being a school, they have to have a front. So uh, if you have a front for it, first things, get it listed on the map. And it's easy for people to find, especially with Google Maps. Almost all our cars today over here have, have the navigation and, and it uses the maps. So you really want your, your business to show up there, right? And if, you, if your car is not equipped with the navigation, you navigate to a place through your mobile, which some place which you don't know about. So um, it is quite crucial. It adds up to your ranking, of course. If you have a lot of things that's combined in together with the ranking, you have good legit reviews and so on, 
that adds up to your ranking for the total website. Absolutely, Shrez. This is something that can be used for local search engine optimization because I think uh, being a school or in the case of any of these schools, I think uh, their target audience is only Bahrain. So we're, we're talking about a local SEO lead. Okay, what are the techniques for SEO apart from on-page optimization? I will tell you there's, there's, there's too many of them, So, but I can definitely list out a couple of them, uh, which would be, first of all, having a blog, yes, because that's going to add into your a blog which is regularly updated. I, I don't talk about a blog where you first put an article and then you let it be for another two years, because that's not going to account for it. So a regularly updated blog and your social media channels, which of course link back to your uh, website. And apart from that, you're going to have something which is link building. Link building is basically like what I mentioned earlier. Uh, it was, is about bringing in real good quality links from websites which have a really good page rank. So let's say, for example, if you manage to get a page on Wikipedia for your school, and you have if that page links back to your school website, your page rank is going to go up like like really high. Whereas if, if it's listed with one of those websites which were launched yesterday, your page, I mean, it wouldn't really make a good, big difference. And some of these websites even have a page rank which is really low, and that in fact affects your uh, ranking. So you've got to be really careful when it comes to link building, but link building surely does the trick. Because uh, I'll give you a very good example. Multinational School Bahrain. Uh, this was a school that started off in Bahrain almost about one and a half years ago. So, um, and British School of Bahrain has been in Bahrain for the last 15 years, 15 or even more than 15 years. So the thing was that we had quite a challenge bringing in multinational school Bahrain from the third page to the first page. Because uh, first of all, your domain isn't too old. Secondly, uh, people are not aware of it too much. All right, so you don't really have other websites talking about your school because it's a new school. So we're taking that up as a challenge, and, and I tell you, I mean, the last one and a half years, uh, actually in the last one year when we really started off with the SEO for them, we've managed to bring them up right over here. And I think, I, I personally think this is a really good spot for them, although we need to step up and be right about British School of Bahrain, because one of the challenges here that we have analyzed is British School of Bahrain has a lot more of traffic flowing in, because we're talking about a bigger school, and we're talking about a school that's been here in the island for, for years. Whereas multinational school is something with a small scale. So I would personally tell you that it's it's a lot of factors and link building surely has helped for multinational school Bahrain because of the past year. We brought in a lot of links and we we had digital uh, press releases launched and which always link back to the website. So we had legit websites like Gulf Daily News, the number one newspaper in Bahrain. So we're talking about over a six digit number, which is a traffic audience over there onto that website. So um, these are some of the things that I, I could personally tell you at this point that these definitely hike up your search engine rankings. But again, that, that, definitely, that definitely does not mean that we're always restricted to that. Search engine optimization is something, according to me, I would tell you um, that there would be no one who would be able to tell you that this is the right way to go. It's all about experimenting and seeing, seeing what works best for you. I mean, that's, that's personally my opinion, because you do see a lot of these people who say that, okay, yeah, this is the way to go, and so on. Yeah, to a certain extent, I agree. But there are, there are certain things which, which no one apart from Google would be able to give you that kind of information, and Google has been smart enough not to give you that kind of information. And the moment when everyone knows about it is exactly when they change the algorithm. So I think pretty much answers to your question, Sharis. Great, perfect. Any other questions for search engine optimization? I'm expecting a lot more of questions because I remember the first time when I stepped into this, I mean, I really had a lot of queries for search engine optimization. I mean, I'll tell you honestly, even like, like I told you before, uh, every day I still read or I, I learn new things about search engine optimization because it never ends right there. It's something that, that you normally do not as a one-time thing but throughout the year. 
Okay, how do we do link building apart from PR and link backs from the news channels? Okay, if we had to do link building on the website, first of all, I would tell you make sure that within the website, every page of your website is accessible within two clicks. Anything longer than that it affects your SEO. And if you had to do link building, so let's say in your website, every page, if it links back to the home, that definitely is a plus point because at the end of the day, for the, for the end user, it makes it easier when Google's uh, search engine, uh, the crawler, the spider, when the spider crawls through your website, you pretty much, and the spider knows where exactly to go in through. So you have the sitemap which is clearly uh, listed and it's always submitted to Google's webmaster tools. I mean, I know I'm talking about just Google for now, but even Bing does have its own webmaster tools and so does Yahoo. Mm -hmm. So uh, the whole idea is about keeping it very outlined when it comes to your website. So first thing would be having, having your links. Your links shouldn't be uh, too long. and I would try and avoid as many special characters as possible in your links within the within the website, because I think a lot of websites, you see, a lot of people, you see that when they when they create a website, if you look at their inner pages, they have uh, links that absolutely make no sense, and that makes it really hard for Google Spider to uh, crawl through, and of course uh, get a clear idea as to what the page is all about. So I would tell you, uh, if you had to do link building apart from getting in external links, within the website, make sure that all the pages within the website are clearly interlinked and makes the user experience really easy. And uh, that's pretty much it, I guess.